All right, so I'm just jumping into this one because um, it's just a new part that I made. So I was going to bolt everything up here to be able to show it, but basically what I've done here is um, I was trying to find a better way to improve these flex discs. So the way that these are is that between every pair there is Kevlar or something that is... Um, wrapped around to keep them from getting farther apart. So this pair is around each other, uh, and this pair, and this pair, and this pair. So what I've done is um, those solid couplers that everybody makes, they always don't, they're too stiff for, especially for a streetcar. Um, and everybody thinks that they know better and that they can improve on this, but um, Generally, those hard ones or the solid ones aren't used because um, they don't allow for any flex. So one of the things that these discs, and I'll try and see if I can find the, the video that actually shows this, but they are actually meant to function a little bit like a, um, a universal joint. So they do allow, obviously I don't have it bolted down, but um, they do allow for flex, like for your drive shaft to be able to move around. Um, so basically, by me putting on uh, this reinforcement that I designed, um, I can put on either just one or I can put one on the back side. It triangulates the holes together uh, to help limit the amount of flexing. I was going to bolt it all together so that you could see me kind of just like hold it onto this and move it around, but it is basically impossible to try and show how that, um, how it limits the uh, travel but basically there's a lot of flex without this here there's less flex with one and then with two it gets very rigid not as not nearly as much as if it was a solid piece of aluminum but um, yeah basically all I'm trying to do is find something that will actually work long term uh, maybe extend the life of this but um, with the center support bearing uh, that I designed also this should help get me kind of the best response. So um, I'll hop under the car and I'll show you what it looks like with one all bolted up. Okay, so um, obviously you're gonna wanna make sure that you um, loosen up all the bolts like I've done here. Um, those ones with the that concave part on the head are reverse thread. I have all my bolts facing the same direction that does not affect balance in any way. I prefer to do it this way, where, so um, the part that, that we're looking at, this is from the front of the car. So I prefer to do it this way because it's easier for me to get the wrench on them to remove everything. All right, I'm gonna do my best with the lighting, but um, when you put these on, make sure that the uh, the arrow that you see here, that's that little nub that's going to point out, that goes into one of the flanges. Um, these pieces should only be on a flat spot here. So basically, the little nubs are going to go into each flange. This doesn't point towards the front of the car, it points towards a flange. And if I rotate it around, you'll see this pointed towards a flange. Okay, that flange is just to make sure that you get um, a uh, mechanical fit with the flange of either your drive shaft or um, the flange to your your differential or transmission so install it that way and you can see on mine that uh, I've got that reinforcement uh, on the front side and on the back side and I have I have my center support bearing loose and I have the bolts on that front one loose so leave everything loose until it's fully installed. So I'll quick show you the front one like I said earlier. So yeah, when you look at this one, you can see that um, I actually have a, cup, a bolt that's out. Everything is loose. So you can see there's my flange on this side. And even without the center support bearing in here, like there is much less flex. Like it still is gonna let them flex around they're not fully bolted in but um, you know what I'll get these tightened down and then I'll show you what it looks like where this is almost in the right mounting spot just on its own 
Okay, so I hope this uh, shows up halfway decent. I'll try and get the best light that I can. Uh, but so you can see I have it installed. These aren't even torqued down yet. Um, but you can see, uh, yeah, so there's the other side on there. And then this is how close my center support bearing is. It's almost mounted um, in the correct location. Um, so you can see already, these are much stiffer than stock. Um, and that probably is part of the problem that when people put the solid ones on, when that is just a chunk of aluminum, and this would be just a chunk of aluminum, you don't get that flex anymore. I'm not talking about radial um, flexing around the circumference. I'm talking about like um, something that acts like a universal joint. Uh, and that triangulation of those um, and basically creating a cap kind of for the the opposite side of the flange for each one of those um, stiffens it up quite a bit. So I'm hoping this um, shows some real performance gains um, because everybody likes to say that, oh, these, these companies, the OEMs, they know what they're doing, which they obviously do, uh, you know, and they made the best design possible and that you can't improve on it. Well, they are making compromises, um, which is, I mean, I do that every single day for my job where you make compromises for cost and performance and comfort. So, um, yeah, all I have to do is get this bolted in, we'll torque it down, um, and uh, I'll put maybe my first or second drive as a review. So, there you go. There's um, everything in there. Let's see how it works.